This is probably the most realistic home tour you will ever see in YouTube. Today we will show you guys our home tour part 2 which is 5 years after living in this home. This is our double door area. So in our previous video, oh yeah, you can see the motion sensor. Sometimes it goes on and off. And um, when we are taking things here, right, sometimes we have to like, to like turn it on. <laughs> it's not that smart. The double door area actually so far has been very helpful because it prevents our cats from running out. But I think one of the things that we kind of did not factor in uh, is the ventilation part because we actually built solid walls here and there is no way for air to ventilate. So in the end, we had to use like an electrical dehumidifier and then also this kind of like refillable dehumidifiers to prevent it from getting moldy and stuff. When we first bought our home, we didn't even change the window grills because we were broke. So over the time, we actually tried to save a bit more money and then slowly changed the grills to black color and then got invisible grills installed so we can finally like open the windows and ventilate our house during the day and then our cats can look out of the window without like jumping onto the corridor. As you guys can see, we actually have a TV now because nowadays Prism TVs are like affordable and super big. So when we first moved in, we were using a projector that was gifted to us because we were broke. <laughs> But of course, we won't waste the projector. Lah. When we foster cats, the projector can be used to entertain the foster cats and they can use it to catch the birds or the mice or bugs on the wall. In the end, we decided to switch our coffee table to a foldable one, which makes it so much better when like occasionally got people come to our house. Very rarely, but occasionally, we can actually expand it so that more people can sit around the table. We added a lot more cat stuff, as you can see, compared to our very first home tour. This is a cat wheel for my cats to run. This is for them to jump around. This is for them to like scratch around. So now our house has been officially taken over by our cats and we're just the tenants here. Not sure whether we gain weight or what, but this settee area used to be like our sofa area where we sit down comfortably watching TV. But then now, right, it feels like quite, quite thin and then we have to get an Ottoman just for us to sit and enjoy the movie. Initially, this is meant for storage area where we like put things below. You can look at all this, our cat stuff. But then we find it like really difficult to take things in and out. It becomes like a hassle that we, sometimes right, this is empty actually. So back to the kitchen, many things change. And one of the things that we really like most, right, the most practical things, right, is this area here. So we tend to put like secondhand use like paper bag, plastic bag here, right, where we throw our trash. It's so much more convenient. Once it's full, right, tie it up and then throw it into a rubbish chute. And then we got a new air fryer here. This is a must have. Like we use it almost every single day wherever we eat things that need to be fried or even baked. And then we have a thermal mix here as well. Rachel used this a lot to cook like really, really nice and healthy food. This, we use it every day as well, microwave. But this, this is actually a rack where we hang our towel now. We realized we, actually one whole year we never even touched the oven at all. So there's no purpose in getting oven if you are not a home cook or bake or you really cook every single day at home. Waste of space. Mm. Plus, actually, air fryer now, right, you can actually use it to bake stuff really. Yeah, especially like two-person living, right, you don't need such a big oven. In our previous home tour five years ago, we actually talked about having two robot vacuum, like, well, clean the whole house, right? But then now, once we have this robot vacuum here, oh, lifesaver. This one can mop, vacuum and everything. And we even, like, ask them to link up the water pipe below here so that they can auto-wash and clean everything. So it's like, I don't have to touch it. This one cleans the house every single day. We actually have a YouTube video where we have a full review on this Dreamy L20. So if you guys are keen, can go and take a look. So we realized we used to have a, this is the movable island where it was parked here. And we have to evacuate it to here just to fit the robot vacuum because we didn't plan the space properly initially. Yeah, so this area here is a prep area where we chop the vegetables, prepare food for our cat. Then look at all our cat food, they are all here. We add on a dishwasher and then we add on a water dispenser. So we have to sacrifice like half our induction space, right? Actually, we got one more here because no space planning. So guys, if you want to plan for kitchen, right? It's very important to know what appliances you all want in the first place. Dishwasher, use it every day. Very, very good. This, we drink water every day. Very, very good. And the one thing that I want to emphasize, I don't know about you guys, but for us, right? Like we should go for stainless steel sink because you look at this. We start to have all these like watermark here if we don't use it for one day. And then you start to see right, all the, all the hard water stains here and there, it's very difficult to maintain. So this is a cold hard truth, okay? You see all the house tour, all very, very nice, right? All very aesthetic, right? 
But then, right, I think practicality really trumps over this. For those who remembered our previous home tour, this was made of glass. So we actually got this sliding door installed. And previously, it used to be Sean's man cave, which is in other words, his smoking area, but we didn't want to like recommend it on YouTube and whatnot. But the good news is Sean actually quit smoking about 3-4 years ago. So it has now been converted to da -da -da -da, our cat's toilet area. So we have two of the auto litter box where our cats will go in and go and pee and poop. And then we just clean it once every few days. And yeah, it helps so much with the smell of having cats at home. Yeah, so over here we also have grills installed. Previously, this wasn't here because we were broke. This is our wardrobe area. So if some of you guys remember from our previous home tour, right? This was where our little robot was. But because now the man cave has been freed up, so the little boxes goes to the back. So now they can actually enjoy the view from here with the scratch post. I think one of the best decisions we had in our home is actually having the washing machine, the washer dryer, right beside our wardrobe. And the whole purpose of it was because we are so lazy that we didn't want to like take out all the dried laundry and then go to the living room, fold it and then put it in the wardrobe. It's very suitable for us because as you can see, even when it's dry, we just leave it in the washer dryer for a few more days <laughs> and just use it as a wardrobe space. Just take whatever we need from there. Which explains why our clothes are always like so crumpled. If you're wondering what this is, this new addition is actually our cat cabinet which we use to foster kittens. So before we allow them to roam around the room, we want to train them to use the litter box. And once they can litter train themselves, they will just run out and uh, explore the whole room. As we mentioned in one of our previous videos, right, our toilet went through HIP, which is the Home Improvement Program. And actually, I think it's a blessing in disguise because we got rid of the glass separator that was separating the shower and the toilet bowl. And now it's so much better because we chose like this matte tiles for the wall. And that's the same kind of tiles for the floor. And I think it gives this like visually very coherent kind of vibe. We also added a ventilation fan to our toilet. And this prevents mold from forming in the ceiling because in our previous toilet, the whole ceiling was covered in mold. It was damn gross. And till this day, this room in our house is still my favorite. This is our bedroom which we hack the wall which separates it from the other room and it gives this like very spacious view throughout the whole room which I think until now I have no regrets for. We also did wallpaper all the way on the walls to the ceiling. It's really one of the best decisions we made for our house. So if you're wondering why we have like two tables here, it's because right, ah, you see? <laughs> they tend to walk around when we work here and then they push down my monitor. My winter broke. So we thought that, hey, actually maybe they want to see the view outside. So we evacuated here, got another table, set up here, and it turns out that they don't enjoy this space at all. They walk over here now. So initially this was like very big space area. It turns out to be like this clutter of like office space and then another table behind. But still, the platform here is still their favorite where they rest whenever they want. Some things we've actually concluded after living in a home for five years. One would be more storage is not always a good thing because when you have storage, you will tend to like want to buy a lot of things to fill up all those empty spaces, which will end up with more clutter and unnecessary purchases. So in our next home, we'll probably just do with less storage spaces. Another thing we've concluded is that we prefer more movable furnitures compared to carpentry because carpentry means it's fixed, for example, like our settee. But as your habits or routine change, you might want to shift things around your house you know, change a bit of feng shui. But if it's carpentry, then it's stuck there already. But if it's loose furniture, you can always like shift things around, spice things up. And as you can see, we prioritize practical things a lot more than aesthetic things now because day to day, you know, we have like busy schedules. When things are just aesthetic but not functional, right, it actually frustrates you a lot more. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like our updated home tour after five years. Mm. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel if you want more of our content. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye! Bye.